Hello everyone. It's going to be a quick one tonight, not like the last few. Uh, I got this beautiful Makia Raden pen made up. It's an Admoc M800. You saw this in a previous video. But I had a bit of a dilemma because I've got some more coming. And the other ones are going to be as good, if not nicer. So what do I do with this one? It's still really, really amazing. Anyway, you can get some uh, adapters for these Admocs where you can just plonk a uh, Pelican nib unit right in. Uh, which would be great, but Pelican nib units are not cheap at all. And if I'm going to be just buying a few of them, I'm not going to be putting genuine Pelican nibs into every pen that comes in the door because I'll be pretty broke. So what do I do? Well, you might know that I'm into physics, I'm into chemistry, I'm into all sorts of things like that. And there is a new nib in town. It's the Schrodinger's Cat nib. 14 karat gold, probably a size 6-ish. I've heard it's nice. It's a cool one. Yeah. So it's gold. It's not the price of the Pelican. It's not super cheap, but it works with this pen. This pen suits me really well. It's a bit of a statement, I think. Let's have a look at how it writes. All right, so here we are. This is that gorgeous Makier Raden M800 Admoc in question. And da, 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 da. there's the nib in question. So should we zoom in a bit? Let's see how yeah. it's not too bad there. How's the light? Yeah. yeah, very nice. Very nice. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Yeah, look, in 4K, I'm sure you guys can make that out. A hell of a lot better than me here at the moment. Uh, Schrodinger's equation. There's a little cat there. It's it's in 3D, right? It's not just like very fine. It's quite a quite a decent edge through there. Uh, it says 14k up the top for the 14 carat. You've got the heartbeat slit, which doesn't particularly make sense. Although I suppose you know, doctors and science and stuff and death. I guess you need a heart if you're not dead, like the cat who is dead and alive. If you don't get it, look it up. Schrodinger's cat. There he is, or her. All right, what do you reckon? It's going to write well? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see. This is... Focus, please. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, what else have we got there? It's rather soft. All that. Yeah. Sorry about that. The strokes actually should work a lot better than that. I think it's just the way I'm holding the pen right now. So let me just finish the words. It's getting darker. That's because I just rinsed it. I want to get some of the marks off, get the ink off the, off the nib there. It's quite challenging actually. It's quite rough the surface where they've cut away. Um, but yeah, it means there was some water in the in the nib there. So the darker, the darker colour is more what you would expect with the Conpecky. So yeah, let's have a look. Well I, I mean first things first, like you look at the amount of um the amount of flex that you get from this pen. Nope, that was what I wanted. Come on, zoom in please. Nope. Come on, zoom in. It's really annoying. All right, there we go. That'll do. 
it will do. Right, so, in focus. Yeah, I know. Let's hold it. Hold it there. Yeah, very nice. All right. So, if we press press it down a bit, we can get some variation. Right. So, let's go first up without any pressure whatsoever. So, just pull it across the page, like so. Quite a juicy nib, right? Like, I mean, in fairness, I think I've. I've split the tines a little bit there. There's a little bit of a gap in between the two there that makes it even juicier, but I don't mind that so much. Um, let's see what happens if we push down a bit harder, hey? So from there, uh, here we go. Yeah, that's magic. That really is magic. You know, it springs back quite nicely. I don't feel like I'm damaging it, really. Yeah, yeah that's very good. Very nice. The wetness too, man. Wetness. Loads of juice. Yeah, love it. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to leave it there. That's all we needed to know. Good night, everyone.